Hi guys, I'm here with a haul. My husband was very kind and he bought me some dies from Amazon for Christmas. So I wanted to share them with you guys. Tell me how you think he did. Um, I think it's wonderful. I have a very supportive husband. It's really neat and it's really great when you have a supportive spouse or partner. Who supports your hobbies, your passions, whatever it is. And mine definitely does. So let's go ahead and get started. This one I already took out. Um, hopefully I'm in frame here. Yeah. So this one here uh, has some circles, some dash lines, and some just some score lines. And this is an A2 size card, so that's the size you can do it. You can do it either way, however you want. So there's that. Here's what I believe is a cornflower die, and it's layering. I saw someone else, I think, have this die, which is beautiful. Here's one I took out of the packaging. This here is a die that has a tag that has, um, does Santa Claus with his little belt, an elf. This is part of the inside of a penguin's body. It is a reindeer. Here's some ears. It does a snowman. Um, and then it, it just has these, it's very cute. Um, it's, it is small and I think it'll be great to add, uh, to other tags. Like when you layer tags, I don't know if you knew how small that was. Amazon's kind of tricky with some of their, um, sizing. Here's one from Elena Crafts. I'll pull this out. This is a mason, mason jar. Excuse me. And it shows you an example here. So it, you can just use the jar and the lid itself and make the labels or you can cut the innards out and make a shaker card with it, which is great. I love this. So cool. Here's another one from Alina Crafts. This one here does um, coffee cups, has a heart shaped straw there. Um, these are ice cream scoops or the top of frosting here because it has examples online. Oh, maybe it has one in here. You can make um, cupcakes with it, coffee cups. Smoothies, milkshakes. There we go. It's really, really small. Let's see if I got it up to the camera good. It's hard to tell because the lights are really bright. Because I'm filming at night. So there's that. I'll go ahead and put that in there so I can see the examples. So there's that one. Um. Now this one he got me not knowing I already had it. I do have this one already. If you want to see any Christmas, the Christmas cards I made with this, I used one using the deer from the um, Greeting Farm set. It's a really, really old set. Um, it's a rubber stamp, and I did have it linked in my description on um, eBay. It was for sale. I don't know if it's for sale if it's there anymore because Jill Norwood had seen the card I made and shared one that she had made on her channel and also put that link in her. A video description and the last I saw it was the only one listed um, he actually ordered oh and this one is called woodlands and I love this I'd like to make a shaker card out of it uh, at some point <laughs> this one he actually ordered two so if my channel continues to grow I'd like to do a giveaway at 500 I think I'm at like 314 or something so if it grows then I have these and I have an MFT something from MFT to throw in the mix and probably some other stuff um, if it doesn't then I'll just put it away and put it in happy mail mail so and this one is called tree line and there's two of those so like I said these two will be set off because I already own this one he didn't know and then we have a Lawn Fawn Cuts um, Meadow Border, which I don't have this one. This is great. I love the curved grass. I love the straight, taller, um, the little tulips and butterfly. And here we have some leaves. It looks like this is the 
full leaf and then there's the um, veining of the leaf so you could layer it if you want to and then just a smaller one and this one says thankful and then this word says blessed and then we have some different leaves with some um, embossed details for the veining. Here we have some tags, different size, with stitching. I love these. Here we have some coffee mugs. And it has whipped cream. This cuts out the inside to put in there. You could use this as a tag or even the tea bag. Like that little um, paper thing that hangs off the end of a tea bag, the spoon and snowflake, steam, candy cane, and some marshmallows and a heart. And I like that there's one of each facing each way. So there's that. Here's one that has some tags in it and some banner dies. Let's see if I get it out real quick. Should have done this prior. You know what? I'm probably not going to keep fussing with Oh, there it goes. So I don't know if these were two separate or if they came together. They probably came together, but I'm not sure. So you have three different shaped tags here. You have um, stitched hearts, a bow. These you could use to round the bottom or do the chevron shape, or you can even flip it either way. There's a reinforcer. You can cut some layering or you can cut windows into it. And then here's some banners. Cute, cute. And then we have one more, which actually has two in it. And this one has a bunch of different snowflakes. And I love the variety and I love the variety of sizes. The itty bitty ones are wonderful. The larger ones are great too, and they'll go well with what I have. So, <laughs> I just have a really supportive husband. I think it's amazing. Um, I actually have another die set from him on the way. He told me um, when he ordered it that it must be coming from overseas or something because it didn't show up with these. So, um, tell me how you think he did. I, I love, I think he did wonderful. And I really appreciate him and him supporting me. And I appreciate you guys being here and watching. I'm going to come back with a lawn, or not a lawn fun haul, an MFT haul. It's pretty good size. It's my last two hauls. And I didn't share the one before. So I'm just going to put them together. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and a New Year's. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.